our request, arranged for us to meet a number of Russian cultural representatives. But on the very day set up to meet the composer Prokofiev, the film director Eisenstein, and the scientist Kapitza, I was ill with a bad case of flu. I asked that arrangements be not cancelled. I wrote out the questions I had in mind, and I gave them to Lee to ask in my stead. The first visit was to Sergei Prokofiev. At the particular moment, the Moscow newspapers were scornful over a charge made by Brooks Atkinson, American drama critic, to the effect that he had found Soviet art to be reactionary and moribund. I asked Prokofiev whether he cared to comment on this, and he replied that in some ways Atkinson was right. Well, uh, I think uh, in some ways he's right, because in every country there are some uh, composers of little value who are always reactionary and uh, moribund and not interesting at all. But uh, I don't think uh, I'm doing myself uh, reactionary art. That last phrase was, but I don't think I'm doing myself reactionary art. He said there are poor artists in every country and also good ones, and that the good ones would live on. Bland relayed another question, whether composers in the Soviet Union were free to write anything they pleased, or whether they were ordered to compose a certain way. Prokofiev answered, But certainly nobody uh, orders me anything, so I'm writing what I want. Nobody orders me anything, so I'm writing what I want. Ну что же, я сейчас работаю над симфонической свитой вальсов, в которую войдут три вальса из «Золушки», вальс из э, фильма «Лермонтов» и два вальса из э, оперы «Война и мир». Как раз я его только что играл здесь. Помимо э, свиты, я сейчас делаю сонату для скрипки и фортепиано, И заканчиваю шестую симфонию, которую я начал в прошлом году.